the big the, 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 uh, uh, oxygen saturation machines, the glucometers, we bought them ourselves. Wow. And if we are test, we, are, we we tested 900 people, how much resource, how much strips of uh, those uh, blood blood sugars do we do we spend? A lot of them, like 900, and we have it. We have a, a team of 50. So we are trying to get to 140,000 to 250,000. How much do we need? It need we need a lot. So we need a hand washing station. We need hand sanitizers, face masks, and gloves to, to protect ourselves. We uh, we 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 need to uh, give transport uh, refunds to to, to our staff, to our volunteers because they are not staff. They are sacrificing because of the love that they have for their country. So at least to tell, like, to give them certain things like uh, things that they can buy, uh, uh, vitamin C or good food to, to at least uh, eat and make their immune system stronger, then I think that one also is very important. All right. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, is it that because you guys don't reach out to the government out there or the NGOs or you don't approach them, that is why you could not have these funds or... Have you done anything? For, for government, because I've, uh, I've spoken to the director of health services directly on phone, and what she told me was uh, I should go channel it through the health, uh, director of health promotion. I was trying to have a meeting with him, but he was very busy until recently. About two weeks ago, we had a meeting with him. He also complained about his frustration about not uh, the uh, Ministry of Finance not uh, honoring his proposals that he's, he has been sending. And he told one of the challenges that he told us uh, was that he was sending since March, he was sending a lot of proposals to the Ministry of Finance, but none of them have been uh, are yet to be financed. So that is all, all the challenge that is. Uh, I spoke to the uh, minister on text message, uh, on WhatsApp message. He also told me that I need to channel it through the health promotion department. For other uh, organizations like UNDP, we send a proposal to UNDP. We uh, we send a proposal to US Embassy. We uh, just recently sent a proposal to GCCI also. So for UNDP, uh, even yesterday I had a discussion with them on Zoom. So they were trying to see uh, how best they can work with us, but they didn't finalize anything yet. The U.S. Embassy, they have their concerns over the house to house that we are going. That is the, the physical contact that we are having with so many people. They, they were saying if we can uh, reduce that or eliminate that part, then they might be interested to form. So, and we record our videos of what we've been doing in the communities and share it on social media, on WhatsApp, on emails with people. So we, it's not that we are not reaching out, but they are not coming forth to help to support us. Wow, that's, that's very sad. Anyway, and what if you take on that? Is it that they don't want to support you, or what do you think is the problem here? Uh, for me, uh, because uh, it's, not, it's not easy. Uh, definitely, we are, we are all health personnel, and we are sacrificing our lives, you understand? So I think uh, the ministry cannot do it alone. So, so if you have other stakeholders or other organizations, youth organizations that are ready to help you, I think you should definitely empower them because uh, within that uh, 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 organization, you have health professionals. We are nurses and some are doctors, some are medical students and public health students. So it is very important that they, they make, that they open the, this thing with us so that we can at, at least do something with what they are trying to also do. So we can also help them. It's kind of... It's very, very important because when we collaborate with them, it's also going to help them in the other aspect. Because I will tell you that we have definitely contributed positively in this fight against COVID-19. Because we have reached those certain places that the ministry did not even reach. Because we are sacrificing our life, house to house. We are having close contact with these people. We've been up to Gunju. So we are talking to them. So even the, the, the reduction rate also, we definitely contributed in it because we enlightened a lot of people, talk to them about these problems, how do you contact these things. So definitely we have worked on yeah. Okay, I see. And it's not only nested in this uh, because we know only nested clinical services cannot do it. We are partnering with about uh, in 10 other organizations. Oh. But, uh, we have health organizations like Health Stars and Exceptional Nurses. We have non-health organizations like the Sickle Cell Association of the Gambia. Uh, we have uh, civil society organizations also with us, about two of them. 
and also we the media organizations are with us like we we have uh, Sahel Entertainment Jamano is here we were having uh, a Q, we have a representative from QTV we have a representative from GRTS so all those that uh, we we have jazz uh, designs and uh, and, in, uh, and entertainment as part of our partners so all together we are partnering with uh, 10 other organizations to make this thing happen and recently we we reached out to activista so that we can they can also come on board so that we can uh, work work with that and also the the u.s embassy alumni exchange program alumni association which are to us just before the Ramadan that they want to come and partner with us. So in order to adapt, because uh, combining uh, sensitization, screening, uh, um, uh, sensitization, screening, demonstrations, and also the uh, handwashing stations, we see that it's, when we combine everything, it's, it's, it's a big project. So uh, just to adapt and change to, to one of the feedbacks, that, uh, some of the feedbacks that we are getting from from the donors is we are separating them now. Like we want to, we have a, a, a sensitization project that's, that is on its own and that is, will be more casual. Like we are, like, uh, we are working with uh, Kerndela Drama Group of Kololi and we give them the, the, the content of the, the sensitization content that we are using and they, they develop a 20 series episode of drama from that. So we'll be having 20 episodes of drama.